of Morning Scone, presented by Brock, the Madden Resort Orthopedic Clinic, Hudco Roofing, HudcoRoofing.com, Restored Motions, RestoredMotions.com, and ProCharge TV, ProCharge TV.com. We are. We're walking the streets of New York City. It is uh, who? But across the street, I right, got ten seconds. All right, it is Heisman Friday. Uh, Jaden Daniels is already here in New York City. Was in Baltimore for the uh, United Golden Arm Award presentation. Popped on the bird, came up here to NYC, and uh, in uh, it is. Nine is nine twenty five Eastern at Raisin Canes in Times Square, which is where bright lights, maybe you can see them. Times Square is that way. So about ten blocks up. So easy, easy little walk here, a jaunt as it were. Beautiful free, frigid morning, thirty-six degrees. And uh, good night last night. So, gonna go check out uh, Jaden here at Kane's at ten. Just kind of so you know how the day is set up for him. Uh, it's cold. I have to switch hands here because my right hand is freezing now, holding this phone with no gloves. And I had to buy this hat yet. I knew it. Like right when I was leaving, I was like, I was in the car driving to the airport. I was like, oh no. I forgot my hat. I'm like, that's gonna be bad to be a bald guy. <laughs> anyway, but uh, good night last night. Dinner at Gallagher's. Great steak. Highly recommend. Um, my room overlooks Central Park. It's incredible. I'm on the 15th floor. <laughs> I mean, just look at. I'll set. Hey, go look at my Instagram. My Instagram I have uh, in my story. Uh, have a shot from my room just looking straight at Central Park. The ice skater, the ice skating rink is immediately to my right. Like, as you look down to the right, I'm like right next door to the Plaza Hotel. It's crazy. Uh, I think I'd probably see now. Park. Now, that was a truck. Anyway, so I bought this hat last night. Uh, it's cold. So, um, anyway, so Jaden's got this at 10, 10 a.m. And then. Um, <clears throat> And then at 2.30, they have, uh, they have media availability for with all the Heisman finalists at the Media Hotel, which is the Marriott Marquis in Times Square. Excuse me. So, uh, so I'll pop in there and uh, hopefully have an opportunity for one-on-one uh, -on -one with Jaden. If not, it's okay. I understand it may not be possible. We're going to see what we can do. Uh, Say some good mornings here, y'all. Smash the like button. Jason H., Barry Joslin, Christian Geiger, Solar Flares, Hunter Broadhead, T. Greatness, what's up? Kevon Davis, what's up? Dalton Barnett. <laughs> Morning, Matt. They wanted nuts. <laughs> hey, stick with Scone. You'll get a few right every now and again. Uh, all right, where are we? Matthew, Vincent, good morning. Check out Carmine. <laughs> Strong side, what's up? Austin Kidder. <laughs> Jason A's, don't forget to go to the District 1 shoe store. Jason, I'm going to have to find where it is um, to see how close uh, I am. So my day is, um, I still got to prep for a show, right? I mean, I, I still have to do this at 10, and then the media availability at 2.30, and then my show's at 4. E that's all Eastern times, so... Um, so 9, 130, 3, etc. So there's not a ton of time, like it's not easy to get, you know, all around uh, Manhattan, you know, point A to point B. So um, there's a guy FaceTiming right in front of me. And I think the person on the FaceTime is naked. It's weird. Uh... Sorry, y'all. Trying to give y'all a little view. How about this? You want to walk with me? 
Oh, there's the Times Square Sheridan. So, little known fact, Erica and I, when uh, she was pregnant with Drew, we came on a baby moon to New York and stayed right there at the Sheridan, New York. And it snowed a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. We actually got snowed in. We missed our flight out of uh, LaGuardia because they shut down, they shut down New York. Uh, we missed our flight. I had to stay an extra night in Queens. Uh, all right, we're almost to waiting for this light. Uh, let's see, Joe Parker, Gregory Gordy, Justin Solis. What's up? <laughs> throw that Yankees hat in the trash. Throw you in the trash, you chump, Justin. Especially if we're celebrating on a day when the Yankees got Juan Soto. Bleep you, chump. Not really. I'm sure you're a lovely person. We can agree to disagree. I wish, uh, wish Erica was watching right now. This is where we stayed. When she was, uh, when she was pregnant with Drew. Huh. <laughs> our last trip before our lives changed forever. Uh, Carson, what's up? Gregory Gordy, Soto of the Yanks, yeah. Joel Garcia. It's New York all just scaffolding and traffic. And really tall buildings. Really tall buildings everywhere. Beautiful morning though. Aside from the fact that it's really cold, it is a beautiful morning. Alright. I gotta find where this Canes is too, by the way. Uh, Shane O'Mac, New York Pizza for Breakfast. I haven't even had breakfast yet, man. I just woke up, had some coffee. Uh, haven't really been eating breakfast lately. Uh, boop! That was a close call. Um, we'll walk you here and, uh, we'll walk you here into Times Square and, uh, and look for, um, look for this Raisin Cane's. See if you can make more horns honk. <laughs> Joe Parker, how intimidating is that place? What do you mean, how intimidating is it? I love the city. I think it's awesome. Uh, I mean, when it's cold, I mean, you get, like, smoke coming out of manhole covers and stuff like that all the time. and It's cold. That sucks. But, nah, man, it's not intimidating. It's great. It can be frustrating because of the traffic and how difficult it is sometimes to get place to place. But uh, it's beautiful. Michelangelo. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, here we are, y'all. Getting on into Times Square. All right, what y'all got? Y'all fire away with some questions. I very much appreciate everybody making suggestions of what I should do and where I should go. But realistically, I'm not going to any of those places you're suggesting. I'm just being very honest with you. Uh, yeah, the, I tell you, well, I'll tell you this. I, t I have one, one real disappointment so far. I did want to get up this morning and use some of my ESPN contacts to get down to the Seaport District, the Pier 17, to go where they film or shoot Get Up and ESPN Radio and all that sort of stuff. And I didn't. And then I woke up this morning and I saw RC is on Get Up and he's in he's in studio. And it would have been so easy, like so stinking easy, just to shoot RC a text and and get down there and see Get Up this morning, which I really would have liked to have done. You know, Lower Manhattan and right there, the Hudson Statue of Liberty, the Brooklyn Bridge, all that sort of stuff. Like right there would have been really cool, but missed opportunity for ya boy. Um, Oh, look, Elf. Let's see, Justin, what do you think neighbors' chances are on the Bolitnikoff? Um, yeah, not good. Um, you know, the, the point I've made uh, many times already that I'll make again is so often those become Lifetime Achievement Awards. Name recognition matters. Neighbors was the best receiver in college football this year. I don't even know that that's debatable. 
Uh, but uh, but Marvin Harrison was very good this year as well. He played in an offense that wasn't super prolific throwing the football with Kyle McCord, and he still was a thousand yard receiver, and he didn't even have a legit number two. So I respect very much the season that Marvin Harrison had and the player that he is. He's a consensus number one you know, receiver. He's a Heisman finalist. He's going to win the Blitnikoff, even though he didn't have the best year that was Malik Neighbors. So it sucks for Malik. The example I've given many times is um, a Grant Delpit. Delpit was the best defensive player in college football. In uh, Grant Delpit was the best defensive player in college football in 2018. And uh, uh, and he got hosed out of the Thorpe. They gave it to DeAndre Baker from Georgia because everybody knew who that was. So, but in 2019, Delpit was injured for like the whole season, played injured, and he won the Thorpe despite having a, being a, a decidedly lesser player than he was the year before. So, almost got a honk. Uh, so it's worked both to LSU's benefit and likely tonight to their detriment. I, I would love to see Malik win the Blitnikoff. He's deserving. He should win it. But like we often say, so many of the voters are lazy. They're not going to watch every game. They're going to be aware of they're going to be aware of Harrison and just vote for him. So. It's unfortunate, but it's the reality when you play on a three-loss team and not everybody's locked in your games and you're not making huge plays in super important games because your team is eliminated from playoff contention, etc. So, bummer. I wonder if they get hurt if the ball drop. I got to find this Canes. All right, y'all. What else we got here? Smash that like button if you would. Joel Garcia, Lacey wide receiver one next year. If he returns, yes, it'd be great. Would love to see Kyron Lacey return. If he doesn't, then you, if Kyron Lacey doesn't return, then the only, the only uh, receivers on your team, on your roster with a career reception are Chris Hilton and Aaron Anderson, who have combined for 39 catches in their career. So, yeah, man, like, I would love for Kyron Lacey to return. You know, you had Lacey, Hilton, a Anderson, and then you added, like, uh, added a receiver out of the portal. Uh, like Xavier Thomas, that would be awesome. But we'll see. What the hell is this freaking Raising Canes? Probably should have looked and seen which street it was on. It might be farther south. What do you think there was? Just, oh, there it is. I see it. Okay, I see it. Look. Hang on. Right there. That flashing light. That's the Raising Cane sign. Got it. Got it. I feel so touristy. Uh, who do you think LSU will get in the portal? Um, oh, dude, check this out. They're in the middle of the street taking pictures. Better hurry up. Huh. That could have been bad. Is BK the answer? Yeah, I think Brian Kelly's going to do just fine. Abner, Neil, good morning. It looks cold. It is cold. All right, y'all. I'll walk with you to uh, the time. That's it. We've got 22 minutes. Jaden's appearance. We'll walk together up to the Canes. God, it is cold here. Yes, it is cold. All right, oh, we're almost to the uh, to the ball drop location. I'm wearing like three layers. I got on a long sleeve shirt, a sweater. No, thank you. And a uh, 
that guy just tried to give me a bracelet. Uh, and then he was probably going to rob me. <laughs> or try to. I'm a samurai in his ass, you know what I mean? Cliff Nelson, what's good? Uh, did I pass the canes? Did I flip and pass it? No, I didn't pass it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, look, a Starbucks. All right. Jerry G, what's up? Do we get back? Do we get DBU back? Uh, I mean, whew. That was dangerous. Big friggin' box truck that almost just trucked the wall. Oh, look, that's where they're, they're setting up, I guess, for the... Uh, Jaden's gonna have like a big escort. You know what I mean? Surely he wouldn't just like be walking up to Reese. Oh God. Look at the freaking crowd already. That can't be a crowd just waiting to get into Raising Canes. Oh my God. Is that really a crowd just waiting to get into Raising Canes? Check it, y'all. Uh, there's the canes. There's a line waiting to get in. There's, there's definitely a line waiting to get in to raise the canes. Um, I also need to find... There we go. Uh... I need to find, uh, well, this is really cool. I need to find the Marriott Marquis as well. I don't think you would just be able to look up and see it. H&M. There's the Times Square Studios. Yeah, there's a lot of people over there already. It's wild. It can't be open. Oops, sorry. It's like, yep. There's LSU fans already here. Check it. They got a little bit of a line. Wait to see Jaden. All right. This uh, this might be where we part. So I can see what the deal is here. I need to figure out uh, what type of media availability, et cetera, might be going on. And uh, uh, oh, I see Wilson Alexander and Scott Rabelais. I'm taking my. Advocate. No worries. Do you, man? Yeah. Combos or, or three finger combos or candy axe? Oh, I think he's going to serve. Go. Whatever he does, he's going to do it with extra toast. Do we all get slot. to go in? Okay. To go in. What up? Hey, go Tigers! Go Tigers! Go Tigers! 